Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today. We are on our Maybe Molt account. We're in waddle dee loo waddle dee -do, do Um, I need to go into, um, the clan real quick and see what we're at. Um, yeah, so Required Trophies 2200. If you guys want to join, you can. Please don't come in, though, and just beg to talk and stuff because that gets a little frustrating. That makes me not want to talk and hang out. Um, etc. Whatever. You guys know the deal. But if y'all want to join, go ahead, request. I feel like it's, it has 36 members, etc, etc. But, starting off, mentioning that, um, we are at, how many trophies am I at right now? 2501 as a, a mid-early level 7, so doing okay there. Um, also guys, check over here on the screen. I'm working with a company for some t-shirt stuff. Um, there's gonna be a link down below for you guys to vote on it. Um, I've always wanted to have a kind of generic t-shirt brand uh, or t-shirts that also work well with what I do. Um, so this one right here says Royal on it. Um, in case you guys were wondering, um, characters like the Prince, um, if you go to them, they are part of the Royal family. The Prince, um, who else? I think the Knight. Um, why can't I see his info? Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> um, so he's part of the Royal family as well. The Royals play Royale, so it's not a spelling error or anything like that, but go ahead and vote down below for that, guys, if y'all want to see it. I'm going to try and make them as cheap as possible. Um, the first run or so, I'm not going to make any money off of. I want to get them just out there so that you guys can have them and wear them. I think they look pretty cool. They're super simple. I don't want to be too crazy or anything. Um, I just kind of want them to be something that you feel like you could wear with anything. Um, so, go vote on that. But today, guys, I'm going to show you all the closest match that I have ever had. This is mind blowing. I'm serious. This, I, when this happened, I was like, you have got to be kidding me. I was blown away. I didn't know what in the world happened. So it was a draw. Um, it's me, a mid to early level seven versus a level nine. Okay. Um, so we're just going to talk about, commentate this, uh, this battle as it goes along. It started off fairly bad for me. Um, we're going to start off with our little push right here. He's going to bring in his prince um, and his wizard over here. I drop off a musketeer, which wasn't the best of ideas. We're going to go ahead and zap and see if we can take out this prince. Um, and we're not going to be able to, but we are going to be able to distract him enough here um, for him to go down and then for just the wizard to be alive. So um, we'll drop off these spear goblins. I really didn't need to, honestly. In fact, I probably shouldn't have dropped them off, <coughs> even though they do get there and they do a little bit of damage. Oh, that actually wasn't bad. Um... Now he's going to drop off his Dark Prince. We're going to go ahead and drop off uh, the Bomb Tower. Guys, Bomb Tower at this level is really good. Now look, watch this. And that was the luckiest thing. And I'm not saying it hasn't happened for me. But if that hadn't happened, if he hadn't froze the goblins on accident, because it was an accidental freeze. And again, yeah, everyone's done that. I've done that. I've gotten lucky there. But if that hadn't happened, he wouldn't have taken that tower. So at this point, I'm like, all right, we got to do this. We got to put our, our game hat on and and just get going so um he probably he's super confident right here watch this he, he's gonna drop off like oh i got this game and i'm like i'm sorry sir but no you do not we're gonna take out his balloon we're gonna take out his prince and we are going to uh get a little bit of a rush right back at him um and our hog's gonna get over there he's gonna go ahead and drop off his barbs we're gonna zap and we're gonna get that tower down to um 1104 so two hits off with the with the barbs there, which is good. Um, also, guys, we are in the Royal Arena, which is what I was talking about earlier, like with the t-shirts. Not Royale, Royal, etc., etc., whatever. Um, so, he's got these barbs coming. We're just kind of hanging out, not worried about him too much. Go ahead, drop off our Musketeer in the back so she can do a little bit of damage. Um, he's going to go Hog over here on the left. We're going to go ahead, and we know he's going to freeze because he froze that last one. That's a premature freeze right there. He knew that I had, he knew that he got lucky last time. 100% he knew he got lucky last time. Um, so that was an early freeze. So we're going to go ahead and drop off our um, hog over here. Now watch this. This is some really, really good play right here. Um, i got to tip my hat to myself with this one. Zap right there. Distract the prince. Um, take out the balloon to where it only gets off one hit. And we're going to take down that tower. And we've got a little bit of damage incoming. So we're tied right here. Again, guys, level 7 versus level 9. Coming in hot right here. Go ahead and fireball this guy. Uh, take out the wizard. We're getting ready. We know he has a hog, so we're going to drop that down. And we know that he has a freeze as well. And there goes the freeze. We're going to go ahead and drop off the musketeer. And uh, here we go once again with the loon, guys. We're going to have to zap right there. 
drop off some spear gobs. And look at this. We actually get lucky enough to take that out. And they're going to fireball and mess up that. Now we're going to get our hog up in here. Kind of messed up a little bit there. Got to keep this prince right here. So we're going to just continue to drop off stuff. Probably should have dropped off some more elixir skeletons as well. Up, oh, I do. <laughs> um, so here comes the wizard right here. Go ahead and drop off this bomb tower as well. And he's going to freeze like he's been doing the entire time, guys. Not changing it up. So what does that mean? That means that I know how to play him. That means I know how to counter what he's doing. So here he comes with his dark prince. And thankfully, most of these guys are spread out. We're going to zap right there. Take him out before he even gets to them. Sneak around the corner with our hog rider. And then uh, I'm going to go to uh, point... Uh, two five is a point two five speed. Yeah, so a point five speed. I'm gonna go to point five speed in just a second. Uh, once we get down to like the last five seconds, and this is gonna blow y'all's mind. It's gonna blow your mind. So he's gonna get his hog up in there. Here we go. <clears throat> Ten seconds left here, guys. Watch this. So we're gonna go ahead, get over to that half second, and watch this. All right. So we're gonna fireball right here. We're down to three seconds. Okay, fireball. Hog's gonna get off. One more hit. Tower is down to 55 health. Okay, with three seconds left. Watch this. Two seconds left. I'm just gonna keep on doing this. <laughs> Two seconds. One second left. Okay, there's a skeleton and the musketeer. Okay, watch this. One second. One second. One second. One second. Look at this. Watch this. Ready? Here it comes. Where is it? There it is. There's the ball. Okay, so she's already shot, and there's one second left. Look at this. Look how close it is. There's one second left, guys. I think if we touch it one more time, no. So that's where it turns to zero. Look how close her bullet is to that tower. That is ridiculous. That would have been an epic win, too, against that guy because um, he was pretty good. And he was definitely pretty good for a level 9. Let's see what he's rocking. So um, almost all level 4 epics. I don't have a single epic. Our hogs are the same. His fireball is level 6. Mine's level 4. Um... He doesn't have any commons, uh, or he doesn't have any, uh, oh, no, he does. Okay, so my commons are level 7, his barbs are level 9. That just shows you all the difference right there um, of, of what we're working with. But that was a fun, fun match. Uh, like I said, I'm at 2501. I'm going to show you guys one more replay. I lost to this guy using the freaking mortar, barely. Uh, I'm not going to show that just because I know you guys have seen enough of it. So let's watch us facing a P.E.K.K.A. Um, level 7 versus level 8. I don't remember the last time I faced a level 7. Uh, I've been facing level 8s and level 9s pretty consistently. Being at 2501 is a level 7. That's what you're going to deal with. Um, so if you guys don't know, I'm going to give another shout out to this guy, Orange Juice. Just type in Orange Juice Clash Royale. He's really, really good. Um, he did a video on uh, the pork push or the hog push. Uh, <laughs> those wasted arrows. Um, and um, it's just I I've been doing it forever. Uh, but he does a really, really good guide on how to uh, make your hog not get distracted by defenses. So go check that out, guys. He makes quality, quality videos. Um, definitely takes a lot of time on him. But um, if you guys are wondering, the, in my opinion, the uh, bomb tower is by far the best defense um, down at this level. It has a lot of health. It has good damage against spawner decks, which you guys face a lot. Um, it lasts for the almost entirety of a mortar shooting at it um, to where you can, uh, I don't know, just do some pretty good work with it. So watch this. We're going to distract over here with our bomb tower again. Um, and then I'm going to get down my spear gobs. We're going to take out that tower up there, even though he's got his barbs over there. And our spear gobs are going to take this out. He's going to hit them. I'm not too sure. I don't, I don't know if that was necessarily the best move. But watch this. He's going to drop off his minion horde. And we are going to fireball right here. Ow, it took way too long. Um, he's going to get that tower down pretty far. We've got a minute and a half left that we need to defend that. I'm going to go ahead and say, wow, good luck on that. I could not believe that, like, even though those barbarians died, or most of them died, he got down to a sliver of health, the, uh, the towers were focused, the tower was focused on other stuff, so they got, the he got that tower down to 110. Of course, he's going to go ahead and build over here, uh, trying to protect that building, and we're just going to try and get some chip damage in. I'm going to go ahead and take out his, uh, elixir pump right here, guys. Even if you can just do one, uh, damage, like, just a little bit of damage to an elixir pump, it's going to make it uh, a loss for them. So definitely try and do that if at all possible. He's going to go ahead and drop off his P.E.K.K.A. for the first time, I believe. I'm going to say wow and laugh. Um, I'm, I'm, I've, been, I've gotten to the point where I'm fairly confident at taking out P.E.K.K.A.s. Um, so here he goes with his loom. 
um, and his little wizard right here. We're going to go ahead and uh, zap both of those. Do I not zap both of them? Yeah, so I'm going to zap both of them. We're going to take it out. Um, and now, watch this. So here comes his uh, P.E.K.K.A. We're going to go ahead over here, and we've got to fireball this on the right side, even though there's a P.E.K.K.A. on this other side. And then we're just going to drop off our one elixir skeletons, and he didn't do any damage that entire time. Now he's going to go ahead and arrow over there, and we're going to get a solid push in. Our bomb tower is going to do great work for us. Go ahead and zap over there, and the musketeer is going to do really, really good damage to that tower. Getting it down. Our other tower is at 21, guys. All he's got to do is cycle back through to his arrows, but he's too late, too late too little too late so that's where we're sitting now with that loving this strategy right now I'll go ahead and show you guys that deck again um, so it's got the hog in it it's got a fireball zap it's only three elixir the bomb tower works really really good um, I don't know why my screen always turns off whenever I'm playing and it's pretty stressful okay so um, I just need to no, I just need to turn off a sleep mode so let's go ahead let's jump into a live match here um, I've got a couple gyms so I'm gonna go ahead and open this uh, leave that other one rolling. Always have a always have a slot open if you guys can. That's what you should spend your gems on. Honestly, if you play a good bit, leave a slot open. That's one of the most important things you can spend your gems on because you can get free giant chests, you can get free magical chests, you can get super magical chests, all that kind of stuff. You just have to have um, it open. So right here, we're gonna see if we can um, get something. We're gonna see if we can get him to drop off some troops over on the right side by the tower and by the elixir pump. So we'll go ahead. Drop off. Oh my god. Is that seriously what you're doing? He's building up for a mortar. He's building He's building up for it, guys. Um, so, you know what we're going to do? Kill two birds with one stone right here. Go ahead and fireball this. Um, there goes some minions. And we'll drop off our... Um... Yep, there he goes. I called that. I freaking called that. So we're going to let him have that side, guys. And watch... Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, man. That sucks. So let's go ahead and zap right here. Get rid of them. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of a push on this left side. Um, take out this mortar, and he's probably going to drop off another defense. Uh, no, he's not. Nice. So look at that, guys. We're going to get that down. And, oh, come on. It should have been out of range of the hog. Um, so now what we've got to do is we've got to get our bomb tower down again as a defense um, for, this, uh, for this mortar. So we're going to sit this down right here. We're going to wait until it spawns or until he drops it. We don't want to get it there anymore because we need as much life from it as possible. Um, and uh, we'll go ahead and drop this off now. And we're going to start a little bit of a push. Since he's this kind of player, he's just going to build so much on that left side because I've already got that tower down to half. Um, he's going to go ahead and fireball right there. Not too sure why he would do that. But we are actually going to watch this. We're going to get a good push right here and go here. Get this rolling for us. Nice. There go his barbs. And we are going to do what, guys? We are going to zap all of that and honestly probably take this tower down. Yes, sir. -y. Give him a little bit of a thumbs up. Thank you dearly, my friend for having that kind of deck guys because if, if he didn't have that yeah good game is right if he didn't have that kind of deck um then uh we i mean it, it wouldn't have gone a, as easily as it did so we'll go ahead again wait right here um drop off this and there he goes with his mortar guys why because uh i mean that's i guess that's the only thing that he's learned how to do um he's not too skilled obviously so we'll go ahead and drop this off watch as we're gonna zap right here um, get rid of all that. There go uh, his uh, barbarians, but we've got 30 seconds, and we've got another bomb tower coming up. So he's he's probably like, yes, this is my chance. No, this is not your chance. <laughs> go ahead, take all of them out. Let's just go ahead and start messing around over here on the left side, guys. So much to distract. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Um, and we'll go ahead and uh, and send off our hog over here. And what's he gonna do? He's gonna throw barbs down. Where are they at? Where are they at? Oh no. Barbs didn't come out, guys. There they are. Now we'll go ahead and zap um, and uh, just drop this guy off. Give him a little bit of a thumbs up. Level 7 versus a level 8 using the mortar. That's how you take it down, guys. That right there is how you take it down. Let's check uh, the card comparisons on that. So uh, level 8 comments. He's definitely up, obviously, in level and cards. But hey, doesn't really matter. We still took him out handedly. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and claim friend in need. But that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, make sure you all check out that link down below for the shirts. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, and I will see you all in the next episode. As always, make sure you keep commenting and clashing. All right? Peace.